Welcome back to another episode of Cobra Kai Companion, and I am Peter. I am Brianna. And you guys, today's guest, we have Luis Pop. Yes, I had to think about that for a second. Luis Pablo Garcia also goes by LP, who plays Freddy Fernandez from the Karate Kid Musical. How are you doing, LP? I'm doing great. I loved getting to know you before you know we hopped on here, but yeah, yeah, yeah a little icebreaker. Have, have a nice day yeah. off. Yeah, 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 yeah. You too. Right? And you know, we're we're gearing up for your guys' very first performance with an audience member. So we'll we'll definitely get into all that as well. Um, not a lot of uh, information of, about you is out there. So I want to get to know you a little bit too. You're definitely one of the youngest, if not the youngest uh, of the cast members from the from the uh, cast, right? Yeah, um, almost the youngest. I had my title stripped from me by uh, Jackson, Jackson Perry. Uh, he's 18 and I'm 19, so. so just one year. Out of, out, of, yeah. out of the principal roles, I am the youngest and I am the youngest looking. So right, yeah, that's that, what counts. That, that, right. <laughs> <laughs> but um, okay, a little bit about me. I'm from Miami, Florida. I went to New World School of the Arts for high school. And then I moved to St. Louis, uh, 2021, uh, and started at Webster University, uh, Webco, well, Webster Conservatory of Theater Arts. Now it's Sargent Conservatory of Theater Arts. And uh, that's where I started training in college for um, you know, musical theater. And um, then I heard about this little thing called Karate Kid the Musical. What was that? Oh my God. And I auditioned and I got a call back and I was like, okay, whoa. And I didn't tell anyone from the school at that point until I got it. And then they were like, well, you're gonna be missing a lot of school and you're gonna have to pick. And so I picked to do this and to start my professional career with Karate Kid the Musical. And then also after we do Karate Kid, we're doing In the Heights. And I also got casted as Sunny in In the Heights at Stages. So for anyone who's still in the area after Karate Kid, um, come watch In the Heights. Well, congratulations, first and foremost, you know, for to be so young and to already book two projects. Um, and, you know, and I totally understand it too. Like how, right. how often is an opportunity like this gonna come around? You can always go back to school. Exactly. No, that's exactly where my head's at. It's like, I, I didn't want to give up this opportunity, especially because it's, it's new and it's, there's so many amazing people working on it as well. So it's like, either way I'd be learning and I'm learning so much right now. It's as if I'm still in school, to be honest. <laughs> yeah. So it's great. Oh, also just a little bit about my background. Um, I'm first generation Cuban American. My parents uh, immigrated here before I was born, obviously. And um, I have an older brother and an older sister. Boom. Oh, that's awesome. So you're you're obviously the youngest of three. Um, when when did you decide that you wanted to get into the performing arts? Actually, it was my sister who who like introduced me to it in middle school. Uh, when she was in middle school, she was doing it. I come watch her, and I was like, oh, "You're so brave for like singing in front of everyone and like." doing all that because I would like sing in the shower and this and that, but I was just so shy and, you know, and uh, so it was, it was my sister. She, she was the one who inspired me. I guess she also danced a lot and I love dancing. I love, and that's why also a big part of the show is movement. And I love that. I feel like it's really like, it's what I want, what I've always pictured myself being a part of hmm. something that's really like movement oriented. The mindset of your college is something that has always um, kind of confused me. Um, one of my best friends, my freshman year in college, um, <clears throat> she went on uh, halfway through her senior year. She got a film offer, a film project offer with Anne Margaret, followed immediately by a film project with what turned out to be Angelina Jolie's first film. Wow. And she went to the dean of the school and asked for a leave of absence for that semester, saying she would come back for summer or spring semester the next year. And the dean said, no, you have to choose. You finish school or you go act. And she said, well, uh, one gives me my career now and the other doesn't. So really a no brainer. I, I did. I, is, is that kind of the way they 
put that's it to that's you. exactly it's it's exact it's you know acting going to school for musical theater going to school for my perspective now is like there's no formula there's no it's not like we're doing brain surgery and you need to like you know pass certain tests and do you know what I mean so um if if you know I'm I'm I I'm pretty self aware you know I I know what things I'm doing right what things I need to work on and so um, outside of school I think I can give my because what school really serves a purpose for is for you to have a space for you to concentrate on what you're doing and practice and better yourself and as long as you're doing that I think like you can make anything a, a learning moment you know so yeah. I mean, uh, I want to talk about you moving to St. Louis. You know, you're 19 years old, you know, fresh out of high school. You, you know, yeah, I uh, I, I went through, um, you know, your Instagram a little bit to try to find out what I could. And one of your posts from graduation is like, I, I, I forget the actual caption, but basically you're like, what do we do now? What the hell you know? we don't do now? Yeah, See, there you the go. Caption. So it's just like, yeah. So um, that's, that's, that's amazing that with that post alone, you're like, I don't know what to do, but you know, let's try to follow my dreams, man. I want to con continue and further my education. Let's go to St. Louis and see what happens there. And boom, you know, you book a couple of roles or um, parts here for, for <clears throat> two shows. Um, the Karate Kid, the musical, obviously you're uh, relatively young. How familiar with you are or were of the movies? Movie. Um, not very familiar, to be honest. I, I mean, obviously it's, it's a huge, name like you everyone kind of knows the gist of it I knew Mr. Miyagi and I didn't even remember that his name was Daniel to be honest I just knew Miyagi Mr. Miyagi you knew like the, the big stuff about it like yeah you exactly seen, like, you know the cream kick. exactly yeah exactly all that stuff um but I wasn't very familiar with like I was like Freddie Fernandez like oh, what is you know <laughs> exactly and so uh yeah I, I wasn't very familiar with it starting off but I did watch it before like my audition and everything just so I could get a sense of and to be honest, I didn't have to watch that much for Freddie because he's in like the first 30 minutes or like the first two scenes or the first three. Yeah. And then he's like out and he's like, Ooh, peace. Right. Yeah. Um, were, I, I don't know if any of you were able to, but did you get a chance or did they have the legacy actors come in and interact with any of you or did they want you to not have the input from them? on the characters um, since it's a fresh take they they didn't have um any of the actors uh work with us talk with us or anything like that um also i think um ralph macchio is coming to see it with like his family i i've heard whispers stuff which is great i like i think everyone should come and see this to be honest but um it's a, a stage adaptation so like some things have have needed adjustments and stuff like that so the characters at heart are the same. Like, you know, Daniel's very Miyagi. The, but like, as far as Freddy, uh, some things have been like changed and altered a little bit just to help m make it into a stage, uh, a musical. Because um, when you don't have a camera and you're not doing like, you can't cut to scenes, you know, you have to transition into the scenes. You have to move actual objects. There's a lot of moving parts to this thing. And it's, it, it makes it even more beautiful because it's like you see it morphing right in front of your eyes instead of, you know. Yeah. So uh, having uh, watched that little bit of Freddie Fernandez prior to, did you say it was before you auditioned? Yeah, it was like an hour before I auditioned. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> I, I like just went but through it. And then after the audition, I watched the rest of the. Okay. Of the movie. So, so uh, how happy were you to find out that you, you had like more to do on the show than Freddie did in the movie? No, I was excited. I mean, I found out, I knew beforehand, if that makes sense, because I had to learn the song and everything. So like, I already knew, but I was just, I was a little confused to be honest at first. I was like, ooh, okay, this is like, and then I was like, oh, okay, this is because, you know, we need to just make some adjustments and stuff like that. So um, I was, I was excited. I think you talked with uh, Robert yesterday and he told you the name of the song. Dreams, uh, come, dreams true. come True. Yeah. Yeah. Dreams Come True. So it was like everything that was happening just helped propel me into, you know, Dreams Come True because 
it, this is like a dream come true for me. So you, you were able to kind of embody the character because of what he's going through on the show and for and what, what you're I'm doing with the show in real life. Yeah. yeah so it, that's it's, awesome. It, it's very, very together. Simpatico or synergy. A yeah, lot of different pairs. words that you yeah. could use. You know, no, this was. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. See, we also just talked to Drew, and when we asked him about the casting process for this, he said that the majority of the people on the show came from the coasts with only one or two local people. So, how do you find that experience being? one of those one or two local people and also the second youngest person in the cast. Yeah. Okay. Well, if I'm being completely honest, it like at first I was like, whoa, what? And at first I was like, okay, yeah. And then all the names of the cast was released. And I was like, whoa, these people are like very experienced. This is not their first rodeo, you know, Kate Baldwin, Alan H. Green, Giovanni C, like John Cardoza, like just, being alongside them, my seeing my picture next to theirs, I was like, ah, freaking out. Um, it took me a while to get comfortable um, working with them and seeing them as my comrades and as my coworkers instead of as, you know, like superstars. But um, which they are, they're all superstars in my heart. But um, uh, it, it it took me a little second, but we're we're here now and we're thriving. And it's it's really great. It's a great group of people. Everyone's amazing and so talented. Yeah. No. Absolutely. Um, no. For, forget about seeing your picture next to theirs. Uh, talk, let's talk about the the you taking pictures with them at the botanical gardens. Like that's those are some beautiful photos. Yeah. There. I at first I was like, ooh, all white. Like, whoa, what are we going for? And then when I saw where we were and like all the greenery and the, it it really like helped make us stand out. And I was like, oh, this is great. And I loved how everything was like really flowy and like everyone was very, just very differently. I loved it. Um, yeah, it was a great experience. Honestly, it was kind of early in the morning. We were all very cold because <laughs> the, the mornings are a little colder here. So we were all like, we, I have some pictures of like me and Kate cover, covered in like blankets and we're like. <laughs> Waiting for your turn. <laughs> yeah, we're just like on the rocks. <laughs> yeah. I bet you have, have uh, not been missing Miami the last few mornings, though. Um, yeah. It, 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 it decided to be August all of a sudden. Yeah, it's horrible. It's crazy. But honestly, I, I'm i like when I go outside and I'm like boiling, I feel at home. And it's like, you know, it, it's if I go outside and it's like cold, I'm like, oh, where am I? Right. I'm not in Miami anymore, you know? <laughs> exactly. But, um, I, I I personally love the the heat and the humidity and all that great stuff that we all love. You can have it. That's that's totally fine. I'm not a big yeah, you're fan like, of the take humidity. It, yeah, no, that's fine. Um, yeah, you you mentioned home. Let's talk about the moment when you went home back uh, like a little over a month ago. Uh, what was that like a, a break you guys took and you were able to visit home? What was that about? It was actually right before we started. Okay. And I was starting to feel really homesick because I hadn't visited home since oh, so since like january so it was okay it was not that much time but um i had found out that i got that um hmm. yeah i had found out that i had that i was going to do this and so i hadn't seen my family it all just be like over facetime there was no like hugging or like any of that it was just like Ooh, we're so proud of you you're gonna do this um and so i started getting a little like down because i i missed my family and we're very, we're a tight knit group. And um, yeah, so I went back and I surprised everyone and they were all crying like, ah, I hate you, but I love you. Why'd you do this to me? I'm gonna have a hard attack, all that stuff. Yeah, um, yeah and uh, my grandma, she currently, uh, uh, she's getting a little better, but she, she's been uh, dealing with cancer. And um, it's, it's great that she's doing a lot better. because She's gonna be able to come see it now. And awesome. yeah, and I, I also like wanted to see her in person, and just like, you know, spend some time. And I was able to, um, yeah, be able to do all that, so. I, I didn't even think about that, but you being homesick, uh, that, that's gotta be pretty amazing, uh, an amazing feeling to know that 
whoever can make it, they'll, they're going to come out and support you uh, live. Exactly. Yeah. And just having, having like my family support me and without them, I, I don't know where I would be. I mean, their support in what I'm doing because a lot of people and a lot of in the Hispanic community, it's not very supported for you to go out and follow, you know, what your heart is telling you to do and what you want to do. It's more about what's going to pay the bills because that's the, just the reality for yeah. everyone. Real, let me ask a follow-up real quick. Cause, um, uh, LPI, I, I too am, you know, a child of immigrants, you know, and so I can understand, you know, for some families and, and I, I had a little bit of that too, a little pressure to um, kind of make sure that I further my education, make sure that I'm going to have a good job that's going to, you know, pay the bills and, and you know, the, the whole uh, cliche there. But yeah, can you talk about that support from the family? Like, well, what what is it about your family that um, that they were so supportive for you to pursue this and not, you know, bust your ass like the other type of jobs, like yeah. a doctor or what have you? Uh, because, yeah, because, yeah. Yeah, uh, families are, are people in in other people's lives that might want them to pursue a different route, more professional, like a more, not professional, more, uh, qual like, I get what you're saying. You know, know like I mean? the, yeah. The okay. example of the doctor, you know, yeah. yeah. Doctor or so lawyer. People might be like, Oh yeah. Like, why don't you just quit? Like, obviously you didn't get that part. Like, you know, and, and maybe battering them down a little harder just so yeah, they quit that. But, um, my family's done a great job at supporting me and telling me like, you know, Hey, it's like, it's okay. Like whatever, you know, cause I, I didn't go to um, college right away after um, high school because I didn't get into a lot of the programs that I wanted to go to. And um, instead of like giving up or like my family telling me not to um, like to just like not like stop pursuing it, they like helped me again to reapply and gave me the money for a lot of the applications for schools. And I got here to Webster. Yeah, they've really, I mean, right now I'm so lucky that I don't have to have, like, I didn't have to have like another job on top of school and all that because they really wanted me to focus on what I want to do and, and bettering myself and all that. And it's great because it just, it shows that, you know, they really do support what I do. And it's not just, you know, like a hobby of mine or whatever, you know, right. They get it. They they totally understand, and they probably saw it with your sister too. Yeah. Now and now it's like now they're looking at it and they're like, "Wow, like we we were right on supporting you, huh?" <laughs> we're like, "Yeah," and I, and I'm like, "Even if I didn't have it, you'd still you'd still be in my corner." And they're like, "Yeah, of course." <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, um, with with the show, uh, what have you, if you can speak on it, what have you found the most difficult thing to? learn is it like um because you're freddie i'm sure there's not much fight choreography for you but is there one particular song that actually the choreography? Uh, uh johnny and freddie i'm joking <laughs> well, I, was gonna say, I was like, like wait don't spoil, like, don't spoil that, that. <laughs> maybe no, freddie no. is the bad guy we've all heard that theory yeah i know i've been hearing about that conspiracy have you seen that about video on youtube freddie's, the, freddie's plotting the uh, master he, manipulator yeah freddie yeah, set master the whole Man thing up um, yeah, anyway, is there is there one particular song that the choreography was difficult to get that you had a, a hard time learning? Um, I, if I'm being honest, it's not so much having a hard time learning it. It's for me what I've what I've struggled with is uh like getting out of my own head and like being able to just be present and like you know and ready. So um, I've I've you know. I've, I've reflected on like how I've because it was that was mainly like the studio rehearsals but after like reflecting and you know taking time for myself and processing like okay yes you're in a room with all these big names we're all working together towards this common goal let's like be present wake up come on we're here and that I once I once I had that little pep talk with myself I had that you know let's let's um realign a little bit get back together balance. um so yeah I, after that it was it was great so were you just kind of being like a little bit critical of yourself and needing to remind yourself like hey i'm the one who got this role exactly you know? yeah yeah it, so. Uh, so much of that and i even actually talked to like john about it jetta you know because we're all friends and you know if 
we're ever feeling down or we're ever feeling like, you know, we're being a little too hard on each on, on ourselves. Um, we're there for each other and they, they've been doing this for longer than I have. So it, it helped for them to describe it like when they go through that. And so like for, for me to hear that they've been through this whole like <sighs> process before felt great. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of experience between all of them. And I'm, I'm sure they're all willing to help you and uh, answer any questions that you have for sure. I was just going to say, that you, you just have to remember in that instance that once upon a time, they were in their first show too. Exactly. Yeah. So it's all been very like comforting and um, positive. So yeah. So you uh, mentioned you had seen... Um, you know, the, the movie, what kind of directions were you or are you given for your portrayal of Freddie? Are you just bringing what you feel is on paper or are they also giving you some tips on how to portray that character? Um, with the direction that um, Amon gives, it's, uh, it, it's a good balance of like up to your interpretation, but also there's directions that you need to hit. And I, I really enjoy that because... Um, it helps me kind of bring my own flair, but also, uh, you know, stick to something that can be replicated every every night. Because um, if you just go out there and you're just trusting, like, okay, yeah, let's let's see what happens tonight, you know. So he gives good direction on like um, specific things that he would like to see, and then the rest you can kind of maneuver while hitting those points. Yeah. Okay. So you can't just go be a different Freddy every yeah, night. Yeah, exactly. You can't just go and just be a different Freddy out of nowhere every night. Um, you have to give the same same sort of energy vibe. And a little hint as to what that is. He's a very, he's, he's a light for sure. And, and he's like very positive and um, always looking to brighten someone's day. Even like through like the smallest things, making like a little joke or you know, maybe opening the door for someone, just anything. Okay. So I'm, we're not sure how much you're able to divulge on, on the specifics of uh, Freddy and his uh, scenes and, and whatnot. Uh, are you able to maybe share um, like uh, the, the beach scene, for example, you know, he's really kind of disappointed. Like, well, Daniel told me that he knew karate and here he is getting his ass whooped. Is there, um, are you bringing that type of same, same type of energy for that scene too? Or are you playing it a little bit differently? Um, so, I'm not sure how to answer this question if I'm being completely honest. Okay, sure, sure. Um, um, do you need me but, to re-ask it or maybe yeah, in a different as way? As far as the beach scene, uh, that one, it, it looks a little different. Okay. So, um, yeah, and it's, it's not going to be at the beach, but it will have that beach vibe where everyone's congregated, everyone's doing their own thing. You see the, the groups and... Um, so yeah, it's, it's gonna look a little different, the whole confrontation, that first, that first, uh, you know, confrontation. Um, it's not the at the radio. Beach, the radio, um, is that uh, part of the scene too? Is the radio involved? Johnny breaking her radio? Damn, look at you asking me all these questions. <laughs> <laughs> I have no one else to ask. <laughs> um, that, that whole scene, it's, it's gonna be like the same thing, just like a little different. Yeah, okay. Oh, okay. Different but same. I got you. I got you. Yeah. Okay. Is, is that the Very different. Different yeah. but same. This is a spoiler vibe. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah, yeah. Next just, question. <laughs> yeah, I just feel like, you know, when you're approaching this, uh not like everything, like not everything is good, like from the movie will be in this, but the staples and the things that you really need there will be there. Okay. You know. Like, I mean, like you're asking about like the radio and like, I know like it's the look of it is like, it's very like, I, I remember how that radio looks in the movie. Like you would want to see it in the, in the musical, but um, like the smaller things like that, it's, you know. Yeah, um, this, the, the character dynamics are still there for that sequence, but it just may not be sure. a radio involved. Okay. Yeah. And still like what they're doing is very, the time period and, I don't want to say exactly what the setting is because I think right. it's fun. Sure, it's an iPod this yeah. time. You know, I get it. <laughs> <laughs> so you wouldn't think that spoilers for a 38-year-old movie are possible, but 
spoilers <laughs> for an unreleased musical based off of a 38 year old movie <clears throat> are so right correct um have you gotten an opportunity uh because we know he's been there off and on several times throughout your rehearsals there in St. Louis, have you been able to talk to Robert Mark Kamen at all? And yes. has he given you any insight into what Freddie was meant to be? Because Freddie had a much larger role in the movie originally. He did. He did. Yeah, there, there was, yeah. He was, there were, he, there were uh, like two Some or three scenes, scenes. Yeah. that he was, that he was supposed to be in that he was cut out of. There, oh, there's like a, a school um, uh one one at school where he calls him the karate kid again and then uh some stuff at the tournament that oh. didn't make it yeah um yeah no i've met robert love him he's amazing he's so funny um but uh yeah i mean we, we've talked briefly about uh freddie because you know with new musicals and stuff like that it's very one two one two things are being rewritten things are being you know tried and then rewritten and rewritten again for the fourth time so as the writer like he he was very busy and you know when we did talk it was like we're just gonna get to know each other as people and you know so i mean yeah i mean i i'd, I'd like to ask i think i'm gonna ask him that the next time i see him which will probably be this week or maybe at least there maybe tomorrow. tomorrow yeah yeah i'll let you know i'll hit you up okay oh, okay so <laughs> as we get ready to wrap up uh i have maybe just a couple more questions um i i'd like to know uh you know you don't have to get into specifics but uh, the the dance choreography um uh, for any of them that uh, freddie are a part of can you talk about maybe some of those challenges if there are any because you said you like movement and moving and singing and so it sounds like it's up your alley but uh can you talk about you and the dancing um yeah no the dancing for me has been so much fun because uh one thing when we first got into the room that they uh expressed to us was that we just encourage you to find your what our movement looks like in your body and how that translates like for you because for, it's not going to look the same on on everyone so the way that it feels most comfortable most natural for you is the best way for you to do it because you know, you're, you bring something different. And so um, with Freddie's choreography and, and the choreography that Freddie and his friends do, um, it is, it's very different from Cobra Kai, very different from like the girls, the girl stuff. Um, but I really enjoyed it. And it, it, it was, it was very, it came very naturally. It was very like character, which I love that. So yeah, I, I didn't have a problem with that at all. And I enjoyed it thoroughly. <laughs> just a quick follow up on that did they have to make any changes to the choreography for you to to kind of better suit or even to kind of highlight your strengths uh, as a dancer uh no 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 and i mean i wouldn't consider myself a dancer i just enjoy doing it so i think if you enjoy doing something it just makes it better you know rather than doing something that you're like scared of <laughs> yeah so yeah that's <laughs> okay my final question has nothing to do with the karate kid whatsoever oh, no. i promise can, can you speak towards the mic a little bit more yes you any musical any character who are you and why okay okay oh what's his name mm -hmm. What's the, okay, uh, actually, what's the actually, show? actually, it's something that I'm going to do literally after this, Sunny and in the Heights. And I've never been able to play him and I'm getting the opportunity to do it at stages. And so I'm so excited because it's, it's like right up my alley because he's Hispanic. He's young. He's like this like goofball, but he's also kind of slick and like, so I think it's going to be such a blast to do that. And I'm gonna have a lot of fun doing that. It's gonna be really interesting. So, so like yeah, Sunny, was... Sunny from In the Heights. Did you guys watch the movie? I have not. No. I'm actually not familiar with this, but I'm gonna to have to check it out now because you're gonna be yeah, playing Sunny. Movie. Yeah, yeah. I've seen, <laughs> yeah. I've seen, <clears throat> I've seen video of um, one of the the stage performances that Lin Manuel did. Uh, yes. With the oh. original. I've seen that on YouTube with the original cast. Yeah. 
Isn't it so good? Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. Very good. So oh, just my, wait till Karate Kid comes out. I know oh, for real. Right. No. Gonna blow On YouTube. Well out of the water. There you go. <laughs> Yeah. So my Watch last out. question, and and I plan to ask this uh, to any any of the other cast that uh, we're able to get. Um, have you seen Cobra Kai? I've been picked on because I haven't. Okay, that's fine. But that's totally fine. I'm sorry. No. You it. It. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you deserve it. Well, if anything, you should be you should be in jail. And, no, and no, you no. you can still answer if you want, but but basically, like if if you have seen it, my question would have been like, if that became a musical, which character would you like to play? If Cobra Kai, right? Yeah, if if Cobra Cobra Kai was a musical, but you know, if you haven't seen Maybe, it, but if you still want to go, just throw something out. Yeah, uh, hmm. one of the Cobras. There you go. There you For go. sure. I'd love yeah. To, they, yeah, I think I'd like to be one of the Cobras. Nasty. But I'd be like a funnier Cobra. Oh, because because Cobra Kai, it's is is Johnny's show, right? He's he's older now and his lead student is uh Ecuadorian. So there you go. You could oh. be, you know, you could be a cobra. Yeah, I I was thinking that he was reaching for Miguel with that one. He was he was he was hoping you'd oh. say Miguel. Well, I wasn't. I mean, I don't, I don't know if you know Miguel, but I'm just saying. I don't even know who Miguel is. So <laughs> yeah, see, yeah. Sholo Maraduena. Now, now I'm it. gonna watch yeah. it. Yeah, now I have yeah. to start it. At least the first episode, just to see if you'd like it. But um, yeah, yeah. When, when like it's, it. it's, it's like Pringles. You can't stop after watching it. You will. Like I, it. I I feel that. I think maybe that's why I've held off. Maybe don't start it this week because I think Drew and Amon would like you to sleep before performances start. And if you start Cobra Kai tonight, you may not sleep until for next the rest of the week. Yeah. Thursday, yeah. It's gonna be like LP. Why are you so tired? Well, Peter Brianna got me to watch Cobra Whoa. Kai. Have you seen that stuff, dude? It's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, so LP, thank you so much for uh, giving us your time, telling us your backstory, and uh, a little bit about the uh, the musical. We're we're lo looking forward to it. Brianna's yeah. gonna be able to Wait. see it twice. Honestly, can I just add a little something? Absolutely, yeah. Yeah. Um, one thing that I just loved about the um, about them adapting it into the musical is that a lot of the relationships are, like, seen a lot more. And you're given kind of, like, that clarity on, like, what each character is feeling and all that. Instead of, like, you know, in the movie, it was very honed in on Daniel and Mr. Miyagi. Mm -hmm. And so... I think it's great that it shows like all those different perspectives as well. So it's not just um, kind of tunnel vision. It's like a really like beautiful picture. Um, so yeah, that, that was like my, my one thing that I'm like, I really, I love. Uh, yeah, like, Dan, like Daniel and Lucille. Oh, love that. His mom. I'm looking very forward to the Daniel and Lucille and Daniel and Freddie to having Freddie be more than just the guy he kicks the gate into. Yeah. yeah, you get to you get to kind of see what 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 Freddie's deal is and like what kind of person he is because you can't really tell from the two scenes. Right. Just like, okay, is he just like covering his ass or is he like actually wants? Does he want anything good for Daniel? Like, you know, it's it's so I I think it serves a lot of like clarity and um perspective. Right, drag yeah. him into the beach, get his butt kicked, and then bail on him. Some friend, Freddie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah i um they, that's kind of what i'm picking up from like robert and and drew you know the the, the musical is going to allow the characters to do things that we weren't able to see in the film you know especially um by singing uh and 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 all that too so yeah i i really do like that so i i hope that um you know once it premieres on broadway that the tour starts and something closer to me is here so that way i can go check it out too yeah i mean if worse comes to worse if someone bootlegs it you just search it up on YouTube. <laughs> we won't say if we'll do that or not. So Can I say that? <laughs> I mean, why not? It, it will be on YouTube. <laughs> this, this interview will also be on our YouTube channel. So yeah, it's like right, right below this. Just click yeah. Down. <laughs> yeah, it'll end up in the sidebar on the left because he mentioned it. So yeah, yeah. Right there, just click it right there. All right, LP. So uh, if do you if you welcome the interaction, you want to toss out any of your social medias? Oh my God, yes. Uh, my Instagram is Luis Pablo underscore Pablo. So L-U-I-S underscore Pablo with two O's. 
And that's basically I all I, I use. Instagram is the same thing, though, isn't it? Wait. Huh? Instagram? Yeah, isn't that the same? Yeah, the same username, or is it different? Yeah, it's it's uh, just Luis Pablo, Luis underscore Pablo. Yeah. There you go. You guys can find him there. So, um, yep. Thank you guys for uh, tuning into this uh, very special episode, learning about uh, Luis Pablo, and uh, we'll catch you guys next time. Thank, thank you, you so, so much. much. Thank you for having me. Yeah, it was so great to meet. You.